Hello my dear friends, welcome back to my channel. Right now I am standing at Kuala Lumpur International Airport in Malaysia and uh, I am travelling to Penang. Penang is an island city in Malaysia and a very beautiful place. It's a tourist destination. It's also a business destination. So I am very excited to travel to Penang. Well, till the time my boarding is announced, I'm uh, just walking around the airport having some great uh, window shopping. Well, my boarding has been announced and I'll see you at the other end of the flight. Bye-bye. Hello friends, I reached uh, Penang and I checked into Hotel Mercure Penang Beach. This is a very beautiful uh, beach resort and I've actually uploaded uh, the video of this hotel in uh, one of my other videos, other hotel review videos. Please visit that video and check out this uh, property. Penang is also known as Georgetown. The, the main uh, city area of Penang is called Georgetown. Uh, due to its uh, British legacy and in the local language it's called Pilau Pinang. Alright guys, I am at Little India in Penang. In fact, this is an area where there are a lot of Indian uh, people in the, in, the, in the sense the Indians who migrated to Penang many generations back. They have their settlements here, they have their market here and uh, while i'm here it really gives me a feeling that i'm i'm in a town of uh, tamil nadu you know the, there is loud tamil music then there is uh, uh, south indian restaurants the dress materials the people even speak in tamil so uh, it's very much you know feel at home kind of place but however uh, after having a little bit of dosa i walked towards uh, Another uh, great place called uh, Lau Lane. Lau Lane is the night marketplace. It's not a market, it's a place where mostly the foreigners come together to have their uh, evening uh, meetups and uh, dinner and entertainment. This is also a great place, uh, very near to the Little India. Actually, post-COVID, the international tourists have come down in uh, Penang, just like in many of the other Southeast Asian countries. Anyway, I'm enjoying my uh, night walk here and see you tomorrow morning from some other interesting place. Good night. Good morning, friends. This morning, I'm planning to visit a couple of places, starting with the Penang Hill. This is a beautiful hill station in this tiny island city. So I am at the base, from here there is a train that takes us all the way to the top of the hill and see the happy Deepavali displays here. It's good to see a Deepavali uh, greetings and Deepavali post posters in Malaysia during this Deepavali season. Well, now I have to go to that counter and buy me a return ticket up and down. Here I am at the waiting area to board the funicular rail. Really excited. Friends, I am in the train. Now this is going to go all the way up and uh, we are all standing here and I managed to get some space into the real front side so that I can have some great view. The total distance from the lower station to the upper station is about 2 kilometers with a couple of uh, intermediate stations uh, where the train could stop upon request. That's something very interesting. And uh, this is a single track and there are some passage areas where a train that comes from the opposite direction can pass through, uh, both the trains can pass through. So we'll see all those things. And as we uh, climb up, you can see more and more greenery. So this is, a, this is an in interesting experience. So 
the total time that takes is about 5-7 minutes one way. It's very interesting. Yet another intermediate station on my left. No stopping here. Now the train is passing through a tunnel and what I read up is this is the steepest tunnel, steepest railway tunnel in the world. Wow. And I guess uh, we are now reaching the final destination that is the upper station the climb is really steep guys uh, in the, I'm not sure whether I could uh, take very good video of the steepness of the climb this is almost 70 degree here 70 degree steep see how slow it's going up now Friends, I am at the top of the Penang Hill now. Look at the view. This is just outside the upper station. From here I have to roam around by walk. Let me see where all I can go. Well, uh, quite a few places to see. From the top of the Penang Hill, we can also have some great view of the Penang city. There are these binoculars uh, kept here to have some very close view of the city. Uh, you have to pay a little bit of an amount but the view is super, really, really super. Quite a few paths to walk around and enjoy the nature and very few tourists. Maybe today is a working day as well, it's not a weekend and plus as I said earlier, the number of international tourists are far lesser this year post-Covid. Friends, at the top of the Penang Hill, is a very interesting place called the habitat this is a permanent rainforest and is preserved in its natural best you can also take ticket and uh, have a trail of this permanent rainforest there are some very interesting points uh, within this place and uh, when you take the ticket they will also give you a map of the trail now I am going to get into the habitat. The total trail is about 1.6 kilometers.
The total trail is well paved and well maintained and generally safe to walk. However, there could still be small little creatures, uh, fellow living beings from the reptilian family. So you have to be a little watchful. This is very interesting. You have a QR code for every tree here so that uh, you can learn more about uh, the botanical aspects of these trees, even small shrubs. How thoughtful and how great use of technology here. So where are we going now? Oh, now we're going to the Katis Crest treetop walk. Yeah, we're just gonna go down here. Okay. This is actually the resting area. Yes, yeah, so you see two ways. Just now the Amdaman tent, Amdaman okay. tent, and here. All right. Katis Crest treetop walk. Yeah. The Crest. Katis Crest. All right. Yes. Super. Yes. Now you're here. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna go up. Right. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. Wow. That's a lot of stairs. Be careful. Yeah. Friends, I am at the tree top walk here to have some mesmerizing view of the forest and uh, the serene nature. This is a great experience in itself. Friends, can you see that bridge, that very long bridge? I guess that's the bridge that connects Penang city with the mainland of Malaysia. This is a tent area. I guess when it rains, people can assemble here. This one I particularly like that there are many such uh, water dispensers here and they request you not to use plastic bottles. However, if you have some bottles, you can fill the water in that and consume it but do not throw any plastic inside this habitat. Friends sitting at this swing, all alone here, enjoying the nature, this is beyond what I can explain with my words. I also met a reptilian friend here, crossing my path.
friends that was about the trail at the habitat and this is the souvenir shop at the end of the trail as we exit the habitat They have these buggies waiting for us uh, and these buggies would drop us back at the main center at the Penang Hill. I'm going towards the shopping area as well as the restaurant. I'm not intending to buy anything but still thought of taking some visuals. Friends, time to return in the same funicular train, manage some space in the front side of the train. Friends, on the base of the Penang Hill, I decided to walk and explore the town. Right now, I am passing through a very beautiful uh, Buddha temple. A few restaurants and beer houses here. Then there is this Hindu temple. And then there is this Malayali Samajam office here. Finally, I am here at the Kekloksi Buddha Temple, the largest Buddha temple in Malaysia. But then since it would take about three hours to visit the whole place, I decided otherwise. Friends, that's about my short visit to Penang. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and please, please subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.